This tutorial show you um, how to use method in practice. So we are going back to uh, previous um, tutorials, number 7, 11, 15, 19, 26. Then we will convert uh, some of the functions to to methods. So let me create a new project, this time without a uh, main class. So I have a project number 29. Let me copy previous source code. Rectangle app. Copy. Say copy. It's, even though it's on the paste, it's a copy. So this um, example is show you uh, how to calculate the area and parameter of uh, rectangle. So here we are going to do two methods. One is calculate area, another one is calculate parameter of a rectangle. Again, we are using public uh, modifier. So let me just name it. Um, the other one is calculate parameter so let me make it maybe rectangle okay I'll make it clear calculate area of uh, rectangle methods that is op So public static, we are expecting um, no return types. I think we are expecting return types. So I will say uh, return type is supposed to be double. And uh, we need two formal parameters, width and height. Then formula is straightforward. Width and height. Then uh, we can return that result. So I change to 0, 0.0. Then area is depends on methods. They will return a uh, double value. We need to provide two uh, actual parameter or arguments width and height let's look at um, the second one again public static we are expecting double so calculate parameter again we have two formal parameters then we are expecting a return type based on the formula we change to uh, 0, 0 so the parameter is based on that return value of the calculate parameter methods with uh, two arguments, width and height. You may need to uh, clean and build projects and then compile then you can learn it 20 and 24 so let me just quickly double check this one is uh, 10 and 2 or 10.0 and 2.0 
and the multiplication should be 10 multiplied by 2, so 20, which is correct. And then uh, here is going to be same 10, 2. So 10 plus 2 multiplied by 2. So answer is supposed to be 24. Uh, let's continue with the next exercise. So, um, job application 11 in my case. Copy and then paste to job application 29. Yours might be slightly different. So, package name is should be 29. So, let me uh, create a package so that you can group your applications together on the same uh, package name or subdirectory. Go to new uh, package name. Use the same name, Java application 29. Finish. Then you can drag and drop those two source code. Refactor. Refactor. So that we move um, those two source code on the package name called Java Application 29 without breaking source code. So, so here we can see that um, the process has one statement that can be changed to a method. Again, we are expecting a return type, double return type. Into uh, kilograms. Try to use something meaningful. Name. We need one parameter, pounds. We can return the value according to that formula. I think that's it. And here we change to uh, initial value. Then kilograms based on uh, return value of convert pounds into kilograms methods. That has one argument, which is pound. So if it's 10, it's going to return uh, 0 0.454 multiplied by 10. That should be a 4.54. Again, clean and build, compile, then you can run your program. Okay, let's look at next exercise, uh, number 14, in my case. Copy. Uh, I call it as a paste and a copy. Open it and then change the Java package name to be 29. So this exercise is about convert bit, uh, fit fit to into meters.
So if you look at line number 36, that is a part of a process. It can be changed to uh, a method. Again, meters is a double data type. So we have one um, formal parameter. Also, we actually have another formal parameter happen to be constants. We can actually declare constants with these methods, but for now, we can keep it as it is. So meter is uh, based on uh, return type, sorry, return value of uh, this method. Again, um, clean and build project. So if you type number 10, it's going to give you a 3.05. That's correct. Let's move to the next exercise. Again, I will copy, paste it. Uh, this is about shipping cost. I will change the package name to be 29. So when I look at here, um, the process has uh, two components, getting a standard input for weight and then calculation for shipping cost. So let me focus on calculations as uh, a method. Again, weight and the cost is returned as a double. Uh, depends on one formal parameter, which is weight, double weight. Okay, let me just copy or cut, paste it here. So, return uh, the cost. Again, we need to introduce a local variable for these methods. So that's the one missing. Don't forget uh, that is actually local variable for this calculate cost methods. So it's not visible outside this method. So we are looking for cost. So if I go back uh, to line number 43, Cost is based on uh, return value of these methods, and we need one argument 
which is a weight that is depends on uh, input from user using standard input device in this case keyboard so if it's uh, 5 kilograms that's going to be um, 8.5 dollars so eight dollars fifty cents according to uh, the formula okay let's move to our uh, last exercise which is 25 in my case yours might be slightly different Again, uh, you may need to change the package name to be 29. So this exercise is about find the learning sum. And then uh, it will repeat, uh, according to solution number two, it will repeat five times. So it means if you enter five numbers, it's going to add those five numbers together. For example, if you add 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, it's going to return some of them, which is uh, 150. Again, I uh, hear five times. static then again we need a return value which is total integer a bit strange but it's int These particular ones, we don't have to have a formal parameter. So let me uh, paste it. We need a local variable i inside the for loop. And then we need another variable called number. We are expecting integer value, so int number. Initial value to local variables, you must um, initialize it, so have to put zero. And then we have a scanner object. So system in you can uh, it will allow us to use the standard input device, and then again we need the total. Uh, sorry, that should be zero, not zero point zero. It's an integer, and then we need the uh, return type. Sorry, return value, which is total. So instead of removing them, I will make a comment. Then next line, I will repeat the same comments. For loop um, with the uh, A methods. This time we are using a uh, find learning number that will return an um, integer value to total then uh, print it out for output clean and build and then compile and run it 
So we need to type five numbers. So 150, that is correct. Let me make um, one change. It says find the learning number. Actually learning sum. So let me change. Other than that, everything is same. Um, I think that's all. Please practice. Then uh, that's all. Thank you.